We got off an R train at Lexington Avenue and went down the steps to catch an express to South Street Seaport to hear some music. Kids were breakdancing on the floor poorly. So we bailed to a local at Grand Central and got on the last car. There was a girl sitting to our right, dressed all in black, black boots, black mini, black top, her hair in a knot. She was nodding out, and by the time we got to 14th Street, her head was almost touching the floor. Her keys and some change fell out of her bra and puddled around her. As the train stopped, the guy sitting across from her touched her shoulder. She looked up, startled, and staggered down onto the platform. We had to switch to, back to an express, so we left the train too. While we were waiting, I turned to you and said, man, she was fucked up. You threw up your arms and almost started to cry. A strange response, I thought, as the people around us threw up their arms at exactly the same time like a Broadway chorus. I wondered how the four train I could hear screaming into the station behind me while slamming on its brakes had managed to shock everyone. In the next instant, I guessed that something really bad must be happening on that train. I whirled around and looked through the windows for someone wielding a gun or a knife. My God, you cried, the train hit someone, and now I thought I knew exactly what had happened. The girl must have fallen onto the tracks when I turned to talk to you. I ran over to where some kids were looking down between two cars as if they were fishing in a tiny creek, but I couldn't see anything. I walked up to the front car and tapped on the window, which the engineer lowered. Hey, dude, I said, it wasn't your fault. She was a junkie I saw her on the local. He nodded, grim-faced. Cops, cops came to clear the platform. It was that person we saw on the train. I should have done something. No, you said. It was a man in a gray shirt. I saw him curled up on the tracks just as the train hit him. Thank you.